All right, here's another analyzing linear nonlinear. Okay, hopefully you remembered from sixth grade how to plot points. So you're like, Doc, I know exactly how to plot these points. But maybe you forgot, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the calculator to help us. Every time they give you a table, the first one is gonna be X and the second one is gonna be Y. It's just how it is. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to hit plus sign table. And you know me, I like to hit the tab. So I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 15, 4, 18, 6, 13, 9, 0. Now, what's super important, we're going to long press this and click line. So now we can see the picture. Now, we know that graphs are curved, but at least you know where the points are. So what you can do on your grid is just kind of zoom in and kind of say, oh, that's where one, two goes. Now notice how they're trying to be sneaky. Notice how these go up by ones and these go up by twos. So you could plot your one, two here, but 315, you're gonna have to like do a middle point. Okay, so just pay attention to the scales. That's how they like to trick you. 418 goes up here. 613 will go here between 12 and 14, and then 90. So you could look at the graph to help you, or you could look here. So now it says, which best describes the function? Well, we know a linear is a straight line, so we could look at what we did here, or we can look at our picture. A constant fun function is like a straight x equals, y equals, like nothing else, just a number, which this isn't. Um, a quadratic function, yepers, that's the correct answer. It's a quadratic. And the other option is an exponential function. And just for kicks, let me show you an exponential function. That's an exponential function. It kind of has like a curvy thing that's part of the process. It might have like um, a number in front. So like it might have the number like three in front and it would change it a little bit but basically it's the whoa is exponential so this would be modeled as a quadratic